Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to look at uh, headlines and how they can help and hurt your uh, search engine optimization. So the site I'm looking at today is Casey Neal and the Norway Rats. They're a uh, regional band, local band, out of Portland, Oregon. Fantastic music. Unfortunately, their site is not really good for SEO techniques. So we'll check out some uh, some bad examples specifically re related to headlines, and they can be easily corrected in order to pr improve your search engine optimization, which is your ranking. And headlines are important. So basically, I did a little analysis on this page before, and some pages have lots of headline ones, and some have none. So I'm right at their home page, and there's a number of things that we could talk about in here that would take multiple videos, but. Um, let's see, I'm in Firefox. I'm going to go and turn on uh, Firebug, a great analysis tool. I'll turn on the Inspect option. And when I go into Inspect, I can kind of hover over different portions of the page and kind of see their section of the code. So I'm kind of hovering over these. And of course, there's their logo, which is an image. And I know the text is really small there. But you notice there's no alt attributes in these images. So this is the problem here. There should be alt attributes and title attributes. Um, for the images. Alt attributes are used by search engines in order to help record what this image is for, about, and you can put keywords in those. So there's no alt attributes in the images, and that's a problem. This particular image is not a link to their home page. That's another topic. But let me go over to this, to this what seems like a headline, but it's really not. It's, it's just another image. So this site does not have headlines for most of their pages. Instead, they're using images. And since there's no alt text, there's no title attributes or anything like that, there's no text associated with it, a search engine can't even read this. So you want to use headlines. Specifically, one headline one for the page. That's going to be the main page headline. And then multiple headline twos for different sections and things like that. You don't have to go deep with headlines. You might just have a headline one and headline twos. You might just have a headline one. But definitely get at least that. So let me jump over to, uh, oh, that's my little version there. So let's see, let me jump over to my editor. And I got a couple things going on. I do have a title up here, Improve Your SEO with Smart Headlines. Remember from that other video, we should have about 70 characters. According to my editor, this is at the very bottom of my screen, I've got 49 characters. So I could Im improve more. Improve your SEO with Smart Headlines. and h1 tags there we go that gets me to 61 characters improving you know just using a few more keywords like that i don't have a meta description on here but i'll skip over that meta description is good for click through but let's go ahead and scroll on down so i have a headline one and you should have your main headline one and ideally it'll be the first text on the page you might have an opening div or something like that, or even a header, but your first readable text, make it your headline, make, make it a headline. There's a chance you could have an image logo, and that's perfectly reasonable, but still, you want that headline one up near the top. And the headline one should describe the value of this page. Obviously not as many characters as a description, but you still want to have a nice human friendly string of text here that utilizes your keywords what your page is about and of course you can use your title as an indicator because the title tag up in the head section should clearly describe in 70 characters basically what is this page's value to you the visitor and then the headline one can do basically the same thing improve your SEO with smart headlines and h1 tags there we go now you don't want to use multiple headline ones because the headline one is the main headline for the page and then of course you could use headline twos though for different sections so for instance um, using h1 at the top using images and Instead of H1, something like that, and you could make various sections. But now it's going to be super clear that this page is about SEO, headlines, H1 tags, and whatnot, because that's the emphasis within the headlines. Okay, so back over at um, Casey Neal's site, 
Now they are running. They they they've they are running into a relatively common problem though. Uh, musicians, artists, photographers. You know, they want to go with some design. So they're using images for obviously their logo, their text logo. They're using an image instead of headline one text because they really wanted that font I'm guessing they they want to incorporate this font this font is used on the cover of one of their albums but obviously they're running a risk so they have a couple alternatives some are better than others they could maybe they could stick with that image but they need to use alt attributes and title attributes I tend to like that h1 tag though so what they could do is they could head over to something like Google Fonts. It's becoming much easier to use non-standard fonts in web pages. So Google Fonts is pretty neat. And just before I turned on the recorder, I did a quick search for some handwriting fonts that are available through Google. And I know mine doesn't look the same as the one over at Casey Neal's site. They could do a little bit more hunting or, for, or perhaps make their own custom kind of font an EOT font type and they could use at font face but they could get something close okay and they could still have that artistic kind of handwriting style so I just picked a font and then I went to the download option and Google fonts made it pretty easy for me they gave me um, basically a link tag where I reference a CSS file that incorporates this font that I downloaded that was it and then I just added the normal font family property um, so the one I got was called mark script now the default for some reason if this one doesn't work it's gonna default to cursive which I checked it out and it's that damn comic sans serif so that's pretty weak so I might just put in something like uh, sans serif and that'll probably default to Arial, which tends to be a little bit more acceptable than um, than comic sans but at the very least this basic little technique did get me to a scripty font and the nice thing about it is its typical headline in fact let me head back over to my editor here I th did throw a couple of headline twos on there and of course this is formatting my headline too so if I go back here and refresh refresh there we go so my headlines now have a scripty font and they could spend a little bit more time finding something they felt was more artistic and fit better um, I don't think this is a very easy to read one but certainly much better than slapping an image up there because now when you have text you have the ability for a search engine bot a program to scan your page and read the text so get headlines in your page one headline one at the top and then maybe you need to break up your page into some sections that have their own headline twos but use normal headline text